any day now, this shark egg is hatching. Put the most shrimp I've ever put inside of a fish trap. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? Shrimp's in there. Ow, he just bit me. We are back at one of my all-time favorite spots, the spot that I like to call Fish Guy Jack Honey Hole. We have caught so many different types of fish here, from baby barracudas to baby puffer fish to arrow crabs, you name it, we've caught it. And we're back, because guess what? I'm having an itch to set a fish trap here. It's been a little bit, so I think it is time to set another trap. Let's go get the thing baited up, and let's go bring it to the mangroves. All right, here we are. We're gonna put the most shrimp I've ever put inside of a fish trap in the history of time. This is a whole entire bag I'm throwing the whole thing inside here because I want to let this thing really marinate in this water because I want to have a lot of food and the more fish we can attract the better chances we have at catching something big and good so we're gonna go right over here to this area right here where the hidden tunnel is the water flows right out of here so we're gonna go put this trap right near those mangroves and we're gonna see if we can get something good change of plans if you look at the water right here the water is absolutely garbaccio okay it's garbaccio so we're gonna go to the other side where the water is gonna be a little bit more clear all right after a long 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 decision here the fish guys had a meeting and we we're deciding to put it in the deepest part of the bridge. Literally right here, this drops from ankle deep, look at my feet, ankle deep to literally, like I don't even wanna go much further because it gets so darn deep. Now I'm gonna throw this as far, right there. Let it sink down because look, we only have so much rope and uh, we're gonna leave that thing right there. It's literally gonna be along the bridge wall, along all that structure right there. Houses literally so much life. So we're gonna hook this up right here, right there, stay. We're gonna leave her, baby. Guys, take a look at this right here. That right there is an egg. I don't know what it is an egg of or to. Could it be a bird? Could it be a sea turtle egg? I don't know. Look at that little weird dude right there. Just about stepped on him, but luckily something hatched out of it. So you all know this tide pool spot by now. Take a look at this, a literal man-made tide pool. Absolutely huge and super, super deep. Let's see if anybody's home inside here today. I've made countless videos on this and we've caught some really cool fish out of it. Oh yeah, you can see a little snapper down there. Little Sergeant Majors cruising around. There's tons of fish that get stuck inside here on dead low tide. As you guys can see, there's a great wall right there and whatever's inside there is gonna be stuck there for six hours until the next high tide. Check this thing out right here sitting on the wall. That is a big old conch shell right there with no conch left inside. Oh, look at this hermit crab. Woo that little guy's home inside there. Those guys are just waiting for some water. Please remain calm, sir. No, no, remain calm, I said. I see him now. Did I get him? I hear him, yes. Yes! Hi! Look at this little guy right here. These guys are some of my favorites to catch here on these beaches. Just a miniature, tiny, 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 tiny little puffer fish. I just find them to be so adorable. I mean, look at that little face right there. Look at that face! Come on, will you blow up like a little golf ball? But check out those eyes, man. Green and orange, that fish is super, super pretty. Let's watch him swim off. All right, there he goes. Off like a charm, and then look at this. This is what these guys eat. Take a look at this right here. They eat these right here. This right here is a hermit crab. You can see the crab way up inside there. See his little pinchers? Well, when those guys are out crawling along like this guy just was, here comes little turbo, little, little tiny puffer. Boom, snatches at his claws, eats it. Good meal for him. Kyle and I have been searching around here for like 45 minutes, not no joke. And we literally found that hermit crab and that little tiny puffer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you guys back to the house. I wanna give you guys an update on our shark and how he's doing. So here it is. Our shark is doing so dang well. I am going to try and feed him right now. We got some glass minnows here that I'm gonna drop inside the tank and this guy should absolutely house them. All right, let's drop these glass minnows inside here. Hopefully our saddleback grouper right there will not come out and eat them, but our shark should smell these things and absolutely come running. Oh my God, that one's literally on his nose. You want that fresh, 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 fresh glass minnow? Yeah, there you go, buddy. You starting to move now. Looks like somebody smells food. Oh, here's our saddleback grouper. He's out and about. He's super, super fat. Oh, did he get it? I think I might've missed it. He's about to get it right now. Oh, he got it. He got it. Oh, look who's out now. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's out. The big boy is out. Our shark just absolutely dusted that little glass minnow right there. Look at him, look at him, look at him. He's just absolutely crushing it, getting it down inside of his stomach. That thing is seriously so beautiful. I still have yet to pick a name for him, so if you do have some suggestions, listen. Everything's still open. Look at this guy. God, he's such a beast. I can't wait to see that one get as big as him. These sharks are seriously so cool. One thing I really do wish is that they didn't hide so much in the rocks all the time. I wish they were more of a free swimmer, and that's definitely a type of shark that 
that I do want to get for the tank that we're going to be setting up here shortly is I definitely want to get a hound shark or some sort of shark that's going to constantly be swimming around the tank. But it's so great to see this guy doing well. The shark aquarium is absolutely awesome. So the shark is doing really, really, really well. And every day we get closer to, to putting all of our predator fish and that shark into the new tank. I've already gotten rid of the Azul peacock and I got rid of our little tigerinus catfish. The rest I'm going to give to the store and then we're starting construction on a saltwater aquarium. Now guys, without further ado, let's pull this strap. Take a look at that cut the plastic shirt, baby. Get a good view of that. Yeah. All right, here we go. Pulling it up from the deeps, from the depth. Come to Papa, it's literally coming from the dark. Here we go, come on. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Do you know what that is? That's a freaking green Morio baby. Let's get him into the critter keeper. Come on, come on. You actually gotta be kidding me. We literally caught no one fish. No shot. Look at that slithery oh freaking little dude. Guys, there's so many of these around this area. From, from the inlet to this bridge, we've caught chain link eels here. I've caught a chain link in here. We've caught green moray eels here. That's why I didn't, I thought we got skunked and then I was completely, utterly surprised. Oh my God, look at that thing. Look at that, but what the hell had him? He's got a little cut right there. Oh yeah, I see the white, the white scar. Oh sugar, sugar, you don't want to, you don't want to eat that. Guys, look, at, look, you can t tell why now he came for uh, that fish yeah. trap. Look at all those freaking shrimps in there. Ow, he just bit me. No way. He bit me. He got me. Homie bit me a little bit, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead. I want to take this guy home right now. Look at him. He's mad. Look at how mad he is. He is not happy. He is so freaking mad right now. Look we're, at his gills. He's look at his gills. Yeah. We're going to take him home right now, y'all, and we're going to bring him to the aquarium. Let's go. What a dang day it has been. Did it take a turn for the absolute worst? Your boy got bit by a green moray eel today. Now, that is a true fish guy hardcore fish guy. Let's go ahead and recap what happened there. First of all, I was so amazed that I actually caught a green moray eel in the fish trap. I actually thought we were skunked because the green moray eel really blended into the trap because it was the trap is green and the green moray eel is green. Then I realized it. okay, now I'm totally freaking out. Holy crap, I have a green moray eel. Run, get a critter keeper, fill it with water, put him inside, and then I see all the shrimp in there. So I just wanted to go help the guy out and grab the shrimp out of the critter keeper and bam, he turned around and got me. Now when I realized I got bit, honestly guys, I was so excited about the eel that nothing even really came to my head like, holy crap, this could actually be bad. I was just like, okay, I wanna take this guy home. I wanna put him in my tank. And there he is right inside there. After that, I cut the clip as you guys saw. I said, I'll see you guys at home. Threw him in a bucket, ran home, did research, and literally did not realize how badly these cuts right here, this bite from a green moray eel can get infected. So I went straight to the MD now, got a tetanus shot in my shoulder, got some antibiotics, and I got some cream to put on here that's gonna help with a bacterial infection. So, you know what, your boy is good. Wow, I mean, this video I feel like was literally all over the place, I apologize. I was not expecting to get bit by a green moray eel today. All right, now here he is right there, you guys, the green more eel that did the damage on the water is a tad bit cloudy. I am gonna acclimate this guy, but you know what? I feel like I didn't get a chance to really show you guys his true beauty because after not even about a minute of having this guy, I got my hand bit. But this fish is super cool. Perfect timing for the saltwater tank that we're gonna set up right behind me. Thing is that I'm a little worried about is, is that he's gonna eat some fish inside here. So what I'm gonna do is this bucket right here, these holes on the top are meant for keeping fish alive in the water, such as your bait. So we're gonna keep this guy in the bucket here we're gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna put it right in the middle of the tank that way he can't get out and that way he can't harm anybody inside there he should he's not gonna be in here very long i'm literally taking those fish to the store this weekend and uh we're gonna be good to go here and just like that ladies and gents we got him in the tank you can kind of see his nose moving around just like that now my goal is to only have him in here for only about a day or two and then i think i'm gonna try and put him in the 55 gallon tank i don't want to leave him in this bucket for very long but at this very moment this is the best place for him to go now you guys i'm gonna head upstairs i'm gonna give you guys an update on how everybody's doing upstairs it's any day now this shark egg is hatching and all these fish are doing so well check out the sail fin tang guys Look at the little pajama cardinal in the back. We got our wrasse here. We have our two clownfish right there and the other pajama cardinal 
inside here as well. These guys are definitely hungry. So let's grab a pinch of this food and put it inside. There they all go. Here they come. Watch these guys eat. Now imagine more fish, more colors, all feeding and darting around in a much bigger tank. It's going to look so good. Look at that cellophane tank. Picking them up off the bottom. No problem whatsoever. And now the big boys where the green more eel will eventually go into. But we got Bolt inside here who's our only eel because you know what? There really is not much more room inside here. Otherwise, I would have went ahead and put him inside. You guys, look at these scars he's getting above his eyes. It's from him swimming up and down the glass looking at me. He's getting little tiny scars on above his eyes, but I think he's gonna be okay. Guys, I'm really sorry. This video is probably all over the place. It might be shorter than usual, but when I tell you that I am an overthinker, I am an overthinker. And when I bit, got bit by that more eel and I had time to kind of relax, I immediately started thinking, oh my God, what if I get an infection? It spreads all throughout my body. You know what, I had to take all the precautions, go to the MD now, get checked out, see a doctor. I got my Tecna shot, I got my antibiotics, I got the cream. I'm going to be okay. I can promise you that. But you guys, be sure to drop a name down below for that green Mori eel. Listen, the guy bit my finger, so maybe we can name him something along those lines. But you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for the support. Be sure to go check out fishguy.shop to get yourself something nice. Every single item sold removes trash from the ocean. Hopefully this puppy won't be hurting too bad tomorrow. This feels like such a weird video, and I apologize, but I think it ended up being a pretty good one. I got bit by a Mori eel. How many more times can I say it? But I love you all so much. Catch you all in that next video. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.